So a few things that I'm doing to help me uh, get through some of this uh, turbulence in, in life is uh, by diverting as much energy uh, that I have left to help other small businesses and people in my local community. Uh, I think that many of us as creators, uh, be it YouTubers, podcasters, web developers, designers, copywriters, marketers, we have uh, a unique skill set which can be used at home. Uh, it's something that obviously we don't have to be in person uh, to accomplish a lot of our job. And for those small business owners and community folks who have been displaced by this, um, lending a hand uh, in your local community and giving back as much as you possibly can, uh, I help sort of alleviates the stress uh, in the constant that is uh, the weight of this whole situation that we find ourselves in. Being able to help somebody um, will lift that weight off of your chest or shoulders or your mind, wherever this weight sits right now. A few things that I've been doing is offering small websites uh, to business owners that had to shut their doors, uh, particularly restaurants and other eateries uh, that you know, never even had a website. You know, it's the year 2020. Um, there's many folks who've never invested in technology. And, and this week, my God has sent a lot of people uh, emailing me and knocking on my door to, to help others, uh, you know, with their web presence, because now it's needed, you know, more than ever. Um, so I've been able to offer that help. I'm sure many of you out there can offer that kind of help too, uh, by putting something together in a very, very minimal way, just giving somebody a platform uh, other than Facebook to keep their message going to showcase themselves and even to get a little bit more technical, maybe even putting up something like a donation form with GiveWP or contact forms with Gravity uh, or even selling uh, gift cards, right? There's other services out there that can help folks get gift card selling uh, really, really quickly. The other thing that you can do is if you're, even if you're not a web developer, you're more of a marketer or creative type, um, helping, pe helping people tell their story. Uh, I do run a local podcast and I've been trying to interview as many people who are willing uh, in these tough times to get on a live stream and just talk about their particular situation. I put together a public facing uh, Google survey for small business owners just to let us know how everyone's being impacted uh, and with a link back to their website. So uh, I'm using this to share with the, the public to say, hey, look, here are these small businesses that are being impacted in our area. Um, with this quick survey, you can kind of see what they're going through and, and maybe there's somebody out there that could identify something they can help with, uh, be it buying gift cards from them or just they might know somebody that could help them out in this particular situation. So I'm using technology and a little bit of know-how of using something as simple as Google Forms uh, and Google Spreadsheets to share a little bit of that knowledge. Uh, lastly, I think one of the things that I've always been really passionate about is uh, being able to use our skill set, and particularly with WordPress. Uh, I know everyone on this channel isn't a WordPress you know, aficionado, but um, you know, for years now, we've always struggled with, you know, the custom building of websites and uh, versus the page builders of the world or the WordPress implementers. And now more than ever, a WordPress implementer is a valuable, extremely valuable uh, skill set. Uh, we enjoy the ability to be able to work from home, I'd say most of us here, uh, and, and getting our job done and, done and getting paid is something that uh, is easily afforded you know, right out of our home office, like where I am now. We don't have to go out in public. Uh, we don't have to go to a place of business to do business. Um, and we're very fortunate with that. But also this skill set of putting sites together, putting uh, messaging together, marketing and, and basic e-commerce, these are things that are very powerful. And there's going to be a lot of people out of work that are going to be looking for new opportunities. And if you're looking for an opportunity, uh, I'd say forget the online learning space right now and focus on your local community, you know, where you can make an impact, where you can be that specialist that helps educate and train a new workforce uh, in your local community. And there's lots of big nonprofits that do this from a real high level, uh, but right now I doubt anyone is paying attention uh, greatly to those. If you can go out into your community, uh, through live streaming, through podcasting, uh, Facebook groups, whatever uh, social mechanism that you can leverage now, Instagram, and just get a hold of a, a few people who just want to learn a new skill set. Teach them how to use Beaver Builder, Elementor, picking good plugins, putting the, the basic building blocks together, WooCommerce, um, contact forms, MailChimp, 
help them build that tiny little engine uh, so that they can either amplify it later on when they get their business back up and off the ground or if they want to use it as a skill set to go out into the greater community um, and help other businesses, right, learn how to do this stuff. So I think it's a great time for us to empower others and educate others right now, uh, not just an opportunity for us to make money uh, or for us to land another client, but what can we do to help educate and even create a new workforce, which is why I'm so passionate about WordPress and the ability uh, to do whatever it is that we want with it uh, and be able to build things out how we see fit. We can use this in these uh, these trying times. So I hope some of that helps with you. Let me know in the comments below what you're doing with your skill set, and I hope you're doing well. All right, we'll see you in the next video.